looked great on. Did it? You look wonderful in black. Oh, thank you. You need it. I do need it. <laughs> Trudy, could you box this up for Mrs. Lanier, please? Monthly payment charge. Are you sure Martin won't charge me interest? Oh, at these prices, Martin doesn't need to charge interest. <laughs> That's true. Uh, Karen, telephone. Oh, enjoy. Thank you. Excuse me. Thank you. Yes, this is Karen Cardell. Well, I don't understand. How could I be that far over my limit? Let me have your number. I'll get back to you. Yes. Yes, of course. You sounded disgustingly official. My credit card's been revoked. Oh, my God, what did you buy? Not a damn thing. Uh-oh. Pie in the sky, Harry rides again. Donna, that's not funny. I'm sorry. I'm called for. Hi, girls. Hello, Mom. Hi, guys. Hi, Mom. Benji, don't grip that in here. It's mm. ripless. I made sure. <laughs> Good. I'll go get my things. How's the world treating you, Benji? Fine, I think. Hi, Jen. Hi, people. Won't be long till you'll be shopping here. Yeah. You are going to be gorgeous, just like your mom. You know that? Thanks. Hi, boss. Hi. Time to change that. Listen, Karen, are you uh, in tomorrow? Thursday. No, you need to talk to me about something? No, it'll wait. Bye, kids. Bye. Bye. Go, guys. Hey, Benji, that's tripping. Our realty. Uh, right. Well, who are the rest of them? Oh, well, mostly from Tristar salesmen, their friends. In the middle of the afternoon? Yep. Hurry, I've got children to feed, I've got a house to take oh, care of. Come on, babe, it's strictly business. Can to peanuts anyway, I put it on plastic. It's all deductible. Jennifer, squeeze more orange juice, please. Sure, come on. Join the party. Come on. Can I watch Thundercats? One show, Benjamin. and I want quiet time before dinner. Quiet time? In here? No. Oh. Hi, you beautiful. Karen. Hi, Kenny. How's the real estate business? All up and down. Today it's up, as you can tell. Cheers. What are we celebrating? You don't know? Oh, of course you don't know. You just got home. The office was able to bring in an offer on Harry's parcel. What parcel is that? The 10 commercial acres up in North Central. A combine wants to build a $40 million mall. <laughs> you can't blame him for wanting to celebrate, right? Right. Mom? Come on, let me uh, introduce you around. Uh, in a minute, Kenny. The lady up there, she wants to know she could use this rigid as a No. Go join your brother in the den. But I'm helping Daddy. Jennifer, now. Okay. Homework before dinner. Did you make the call? Nope. Powder of my nose instead. You need some courage, honey. Just put a lid on your mouth. Hey, look, I'm tapped out. Zero pennies. Same here. You've got to make that call, Nancy. Let's just buy one more beer. Look, why don't you just save whatever it takes to make the call? I'll call collect. <laughs> when you're only a mile away from home? Hey, he owes me, creep. Well, I didn't want to bother you with it. I know what you say. Forget about it, Harry. Go back to selling houses. Stop with the pipe dreams. You're right. That's what I would have said. Yeah, but now, you got to admit it. Turning 80000 into a minimum 250 not too shabby. 80000 How much down? 38. 90 days to pay. Escrow opens this week as soon as the offer is official. Where'd you get 38000 I borrowed it. Can't just borrow it, Harry. Banks won't touch you anymore. Who said anything about a bank? Now, oh, come on, honey. 
This is the big one. Chance to hit the jackpot. For sale, please. Really guess he doesn't. I've been around the mall a few times, so I haven't made it. Stop the problem, and you know it. Well, every time I get something going, I get the same reaction. How many times do we have to have the same conversation? I know where you borrowed the money, and I'm part of it anyway. For $12,000 in hock on our credit card, which has been revoked. No big deal. They'll get their money back with interest. Wait to borrow the rest of it, Harry. For my savings. That's all we have in this world, Harry. Not after this deal, it won't be. Get that, will you, Jennifer? Yes. Come on, Karen. Lighten up, lighten up. Daddy, it's for you. Somebody's calling collect. Sorry. <laughs> yes, operator, I'll accept the charges. Hey, Nancy. How you been, honey? Well, of course you can. I'll see you when you get here. Good. Guess who surfaced? Nancy. Uh-huh. She's been living in New Jersey. She's coming over. When? Whenever she gets here. I told her she could bed down in the den. What if she's still hanging around with that that drugged out crowd? I don't want our kids exposed to that. She sounded great. And besides, she is my daughter. Oh, come on. Smile a little, will you? Will you celebrate my score? Huh? I don't. I'm not in the mood. What's the matter? What's the matter? Give me away to somebody else? Oh, don't start that again, Harry. Just joking. All right, troops. Time for baths. Is Nancy my sister, too, Mom? It's a matter of speaking, yes. She's a half-sister. Half? What's the other half? A different mom, dum dum. Hey, don't, don't call me brother name. Sorry. This is the life. The life? If you like jail. Nah, I've been to jail. There ain't no locks here. You just can't see them. But freedom rings. Where'd you get that? <laughs> Daddy, dear. Uh, can I help you? We could use some more beer. Hey, howdy, boy wonder. I'm not Robin. I'm Batman. Oh, sorry, Batman. I don't see too well in the daytime. All right, okay, out of the kitchen, both of you. Excuse me. Come on, Jason, where's the beer? Ain't got no beer, milk. Oh, excuse me, Mom. (laughs) Nancy, what do you think you're doing? What's it look like? Not in my house, you don't. It's my old man's house too, isn't it? Nancy, I would like your friends to leave so we could talk. Don't worry, they're out of here. So am I. Wrap to yourself. Fine. Come on, Jason. Bitch. What the hell is this? A dump site. They changed their mind. They want to turn it into a toxic waste rental. But Kenny, they're only offering me half of what I owe on the option. I take it, Harry. That Geo revealed more Adobe than anything else. Kenny, I'd take a bath for over $30,000. <laughs> and with all your other projects, you can use the loss, right? Yeah. Sure. You're not down the drain, Harry. Never.
Fly. Did you have a good day? Right. Sure is it's coming along. Harry, what's wrong? Something's wrong. Didn't I just tell you? I know you too well. Something's bothering me. Nothing's you. wrong. And the subject. What's next? She's gone. What do you mean she's gone? One of her friends was in our refrigerator. Oh, and... well, some kid was raiding the icebox. Not just some kid, Harry. Some dirty, disgusting man with streaked orange hair was drinking milk out of our carton while the others were in the backyard getting loaded, including your daughter. Well, I'll talk to her when she gets back. She's not coming back. What do you mean she's not coming back? I asked her friends to leave and she got mad and decided to go with them. I said, fine. my daughter. She stays as long as she wants. Don't you ever, ever pull anything like that. Do you understand? Do you understand? I know when the trouble started. I should never have let you go to work. That's when all the trouble started. But Harry, the trouble started long before that. You're hurting me. Let go of me. All right, let it go. That's it. I'm calling the police. This time they're going to put you in jail. That's it, Harry. I want you out of here now. This is the last time this is happening to me. This marriage is over. Finished. Do you understand that? I think so, honey. Aren't there people who can help when parents don't get along? Marriage counselors, yes. But we went to one last year, and it didn't help Jennifer. I could talk to Daddy. You could try it again. I think our relationship's beyond counseling, not just the sauce, the chicken, Benji. I know how hard this is for you. Sometimes people just make other people angry. I do that to your dad. I'm not sure I know the reason why, but we just can't be together. I still see him. Oh, of course you will, sweetheart. I still think you could work it out, Mom. Jennifer, when adults misbehave, it's not like kids. It's very serious. I don't want any more of this. Let's go home.
remember this guy, Mac? No. Yeah, sure you do. Nice looking wife. Called us in about six months ago. We got here, he's tearing the place apart. Oh, yeah, Harry you scream. We're all over me like a bad toothache. There's a broken window in the back. That's how they made entry. They? How do you know it wasn't solo? He, she, they, whoever, Jack. What's been taken? Just the video recorder? Yeah, pretty angry for a VCR thief. Maybe they didn't like the latest movie rentals. Jack, can you see that the lady is upset? Oh, I'm sorry. Hey, it's just... I'm always doing that. It's just, uh... You know, we, uh, we see so much. You gotta think pink to stay psychically alive in this cop work. <clears throat> Did you or the children see anybody? No. What about your husband? We're separated. Ah, huh. well... I'm certainly glad you asked for us. It shows that we made a good impression. It's not the, the same list. situation, Mackenzie. Then why'd you ask for us? Because I knew you, I guess. Look, I'm alone here with the children. Something like this, it's... It's scary. Yeah. Maybe this has something to do with Harry's older daughter. I'm not sure. It's just that it looks so... Personal. Yeah. Mm. Why don't we get the names of the players here? Nancy Cardell. I have a photo. There was this other guy, um, awful looking guy named Jason. He had uh, orange hair, skinny and real, real orange hair. He should be easy to spot, no? You'd be surprised how many people have orange hair these days. Mrs. Cardell, don't get me wrong, but uh, your old man, uh, it, 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 is there any chance that uh, he was sort of violent, as I recall? The recorder was a gift to my daughter from her father. He wouldn't just take something like that. To tell you the truth, I resent you suggesting that. I'm just covering all the bases. Are there any others? Uh, yeah, there, there were three others. I, I don't know their names. They were with Jason and Nancy. O orange or pink hair? Or some other color of the rainbow? What? You should have seen the living room, Donna. You can always move out. You can't afford one place, let alone two. Why don't you let Harry move in and worry about the mortgage for a while? There is a furnished two-bedroom in my complex just begging for a sublet. Do you have a full security guard, swimming pool? Maybe I could talk to Harry about it. Don't talk to him. Just do it, Karen. I'm as much to blame about all this as Harry is. No, you're not. You can't take the blame when someone is so out of control as he is. It wasn't always like that, Donna. There were things I could have done, moments I could have saved. I just never had the patience. Okay, ten years, and it didn't start to unravel until the year before last. You have done everything you can. You have the children to think about. And those two hotshot cops might be right. It could be Harry. Absolutely not. Karen, would you read a psychology book? The strange husbands have the known to terrorize their mates so they can get them to crawl back out of fear. Right You must be Mackenzie and Jackson. Mackenzie and Jackson? You're a very perceptive lady. How'd you figure that out? Oh, I don't know. A wild guess from Karen's description? This is your room? Yeah, I'll go get it. We've got some good news for you. Jason, your orange-haired friend, we caught him trying to peddle your VCR unit. Yeah, but not your stepdaughter. She was, uh, she flew back to New Jersey with some of her other friends. She was over Missouri when the final deed occurred. What happens now? Your words are over, Mrs. Cardell. Jason violated his parole. He goes back to the rest home for two years. Thank you. Really, I can't tell you how relieved I am. No need for thanks. Anything happens again, don't you hesitate to call? I like this coat. That is a woman's coat. What can I tell you? I'm crazy about the cut. What do you think? Another size up. Mom took it real hard there. What do you mean, sweetie? I've never seen her so scared. Wouldn't have happened if you were there, would it? Not a chance. Don't worry, I'll be back soon. Okay. You'd like that, Daddy. I love you too. More than anything in the world. I knew that guy's a creep. He didn't even know the difference between a Batman and a Robin cake. <laughs> I can't tell you what he was like then. I was 18. He was 40. He was irresistible. He still had dreams like a teenager. 
someday he was going to build Camelot. One week he sold 14 houses. 14. That's when he decided to have a company of his own. It's been downhill ever since. So much anger. My age became the enemy. I was never unfaithful to him. But he was sure it was going on all the time. I'm so sorry, Karen. But it's gonna get better, you know. The pain will go away. <sighs> At least I hope it goes away. I thought I don't know. Take your brother by the spot. Well, we did come here first because we found Okay. Right. okay, popcorn. Go. I got an idea. Why don't you and I have dinner tonight? I don't know, Harry. But what's the harm in a dinner? Uh, let's do it for the kids. It's going to make them very happy to know that we can still talk to each other. Maybe you're right. Okay. I had a good day. What about you? Me too. Take care of your mother. Bye good night. Bye-bye. Bye. So, did you have a good day? Linda, I left the restaurant number by the phone. I should be back by 10. Okay. Have a good time. Twice now. It's scary. It's not even the same person. Nancy's friend's supposed to be back in jail. Yeah, well, I read somewhere that uh, once a place has been vandalized, these punks consider it an easy target. Come on, I'll take you home. I can take a cab. Oh, come on, let's not be silly. <laughs> You like this restaurant? Very nice. I thought you would. Everything all right? Fine. Kids asleep? Yes, Benji went to bed at 8 and Jenny stayed up till 9.30. Yeah, studying, of course. Thank you, Linda. Thank you. Tell me what you want No, I'll be okay. Well, I'm going to watch you to make sure. Okay, good night, Mrs. Why don't you make us a drink, huh? Good night, Linda. evening. Let's leave it at that, okay? Have a long day, starting with the kids at breakfast. What? I want to take some of that load off. All you have to do is let me back in my bed. It's too soon. I haven't... I haven't even worked anything out yet in my, in my head. Well, what's the work out? Besides, uh, if you're gonna have to put up with a lot of teenage terrorists, I worry about the kids. Please, Karen. Please, baby. Harry, Harry, don't. Doesn't seem right. I don't know what to do. I can't make it out there anymore. It's a very deal I tried. Turns rotten. <laughs> Don't. You just had some bad luck, that's all. 
Espero que pero yo sé. You're right, baby. No voice, right? Harry. Harry. Harry, we can't resolve all our problems with sex. Well, why not? We always did before. Well, not anymore. Well, what is it? You don't think I can compete with one of those young studs like Martin? All right, Harry, I want you to leave. No, now. You don't want me to leave. Yes. No, you don't leave. Why is it mom taking us to school? Because she doesn't feel good. Uh. Donna, what happened to our car? Oh, that's what we're trying to find out. Yes. I know that car. It's the police. charge right you won't get anywhere with it the guy's your old man you, you you went out to dinner with him you invited him in the house yeah but i didn't invite him to to force me that's why i called you guys i want you to keep him away from me you should get a lawyer mrs cardell i intend to i intend to see a lawyer how do i keep him away from here move today we've been involved in these situations before it's wise to play very safe. In the meantime, we'll talk to him. What Jack means is we'll scare the hell out of him. <laughs> oh, no. Harry's beyond scared. After this, he still expects us to get back together. He's not himself anymore. Do you understand that? We do. Oh, Donna, I guess I'll take it. It has everything you need. Great, let's go see the manager. Afternoon, Miss Appleby. Hello, Albert. Oh, Albert, uh, this is Mrs. Cardell. She's going to be moving into 311 with her kids later this afternoon. Oh, well, welcome aboard, ma'am. It's always nice to see new tenants with kids. Oh, and you never have to worry about them playing out there in the street. Not with old Albert on the job. Well, thank you. Nice to meet you, Albert. It's nice to meet you, ma'am. you guys from somewhere? I thought we made a better impression, didn't you? I will try harder this time, Harry. Oh, yeah. I remember. Last summer. Hey, what seems to be the problem? You know what the problem is. I'm sorry, I don't. Your wife doesn't want to see you anymore, Harry. Stay away from her. You overstayed your welcome last night, Harry. Yeah, we don't like it at all. And we don't like you at all. Now, you have a warrant, the papers, or something to serve? We could arrange that, couldn't we, Mac? Harry, I wouldn't like anything better. She's my wife. I love her. I'll deal with her the way I want. Now, you listen up, wise guy. You go near her again, we're going to come down on you like a herd of elephants. Hands off, big guy. I don't need this. Now, you guys should find another line of work, like maybe marriage counselor. Sure as hell don't make it as cops. We don't make it a cop. Marriage counselors, huh? How about a manicurist? You need a new manicurist? What about that, huh? What about that? No, 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 no. We don't want to get up on harassment charges. How many times do you run up against jerks like this and we can't do zip? And then somebody's blood gets spilled. It makes me sick. Mm. 
Nobody's home, Mr. Cardell. I think they went out of town. Why do you say that? They all had suitcases. Who broke a window? He says he broke a window. <laughs> That's what I, was, I said. I was trying to see those guys. I was trying to Afternoon. I'm Mr. Cardell. My wife and kids just drove through. So they did. I'll give a call. What do you mean, give a call? All I want to do is see my children. Well, I understand, sir, but I still have to get permission. Those are the rules. All right, forget it. But you just tell her she's not going to keep those kids away from me. Yes, sir, I'll tell her. Bill. See you tomorrow. Take care. The usual, Albert? Yeah, why change this late in life? Take that too, will you? Mr. Cardell. You have a good memory. Well, thank you. Well, that's funny meeting you here. Geez, I'm sorry about this afternoon. Uh, I'm the one who should apologize. You were doing your job. I was out of line. Thank you. Uh, we haven't been formally introduced. I'm Harry Gardell. Albert Ruskin. Well... Now, here's to you and your missus getting together again. It'll never happen. Let's drink to my kids. They're all I have left. I guess it's tough when there are kids involved, though. I never got married myself. You're lucky. Oh, I don't know about that. You got a great couple of kids, Mr. Cartel. You ought to be real proud of them. I am. I am. Make that Harry, will you? <laughs> okay, Harry. Uh, tell me, Albert, how is it uh, you became a security guard? <laughs> that's a long story. That's full of woe. I got all the time in the world, pal. Harry, let me buy you a drink. Ah, uh, you keep your money. I got it to burn. Another round here, huh? Strike me as an unreliable man, Albert. Harry, I am not unreliable. But whatever the job, whatever, whenever there's a cutback, it seems like I'm the one that goes. Well, maybe you have to learn to have a more positive attitude. Oh, I try. Believe me, Harry, I try. But it seems like I'm just not good at doing things, you know. I mean, I've never even broken the law. And yet I grew up with guys who spent time in prison. And it's like they got a better life than I do. They have a family. And they have friends. You just never learned how to beat loneliness, huh, Albert? That's right, Harry. Right. That's exactly right. I understand. Being alone can be hell for all of us. I don't feel lonely now, Harry. I feel like I got myself a buddy. You do, Albert. You can count it.
You get your belongings and you get out of there, Harry. Don't get jumpy, Albert. Five minutes. Five minutes. Right. out of your mind, Harry. The cops are going to be all over the place. Now you got to act normal, Albert. you got to calm down. Start acting nervous, I'll think you had a hand in it. A hand in it? I had nothing to do with ripping the clothes to shreds. I was doing you a favor, Harry, and you lied to me. I didn't lie to you. I went there to pick up some things. Then I saw my kids' room. Saw their clothes. Their books. And I thought, she's going to take them away from me. Leave me alone with nothing. Suddenly, I wanted to rip her apart. You better get hold of yourself, Harry. Or you're going to end up in prison like the guys from my neighborhood, and you're not going to like it. You're not going to like it one damn bit. Maybe I'll only get hold of myself when she's laying dead someplace. You can't bother me anymore. Hey, Harry, do you know what you're saying? Yeah, I know what I'm saying. And I know what I'm going to do about it. Oh. It's killing a Harry. They'll catch you. They'll catch you sure as hell. Maybe. Maybe not. Chance I have to take. You're not kidding, are you? No, I'm not kidding. Want a hot dog? Huh? No. One uh, mustard and sauerkraut. I'm going to be smart about this, Albert. I'm going to have somebody else do it for me. What are you gonna do, Harry? You can take an head out in the paper? Oh, you're gonna find the guy for me. Me? Yeah. You know, a guy from your old neighborhood? One of those guys that ended up in prison? No, uh, they do this kind of thing for a price, don't they? <laughs> no, 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 Harry. I can't. No, this is crazy. It's not crazy to me. I'll find this guy, will you, Albert? Set up a meeting? Because uh, I'm gonna end this thing, even if I have to do it myself. I'll ask around, Harry. Meantime, don't do nothing. And would you get rid of that thing? Don't let me down, Albert. Looks to me like the same one who smashed your car. Why do you say that? Same kind of wild anger, same kind of violence. It's not your orange-haired friend we checked. He's back behind bars in New Jersey. Why would somebody do this? Do it to frighten you. I could accomplish that. Yeah, enough to have you uh, pick up the phone and say, okay, Harry, I can't hack it alone. Let's try it again. You can put it in the bank, Karen. Your husband did this. I thought you talked to him. We did, and you were right. Harry's beyond scared. What do I do? You tell your lawyer to get a court order. If he gets caught near you again, we'll lock him up. Oh, great. What do I tell the children? I'm sorry, we can't help you with that. Come on, Mac. We'll stay in touch. Eddie, the guy I told you about. Eddie Kyle. How you doing? How do you do? Mm. Well, you don't mind, do you? Uh, it's your day off, isn't it, Albert? 
Yeah, I guess so. Yeah, go enjoy it. Uh, wait a minute. Huh? I don't know. How are we going to know anything about this? So, Albert tells me you want some work done. Work? That's what we'll call it. Yeah, but, uh... How do I know this is on the up and up? Faith. No references in this business. I didn't expect this to happen so soon. I mean, how do I know you're not a cop? Okay, fine, Harry, fine. You get one search, and then we talk or I'm out of here. I got other fish to fry. Come on, Harry, be my guest. Look in the wallet. How do we handle this? Handle what? You haven't told me what you want. I want her dead. Who do you want dead? My wife. She's trying to destroy me. She's trying to destroy me with the children. She's trying to destroy everything I'm into. Everything I've ever been to her. So she pays the price. Who do you think their prime suspect's going to be? Yeah, I know. They worked me over for 72 hours, then I'm a free man. And you think you can handle that? All right, I can handle it. What's it worth to you? Well, I'm kind of strapped right now. A couple of thousand. Too short. 5,000 now, five when it's done. I, I think I can scrape that together. Well, make sure you can, Harry. Make very sure you can. Now, I want the front money by, let's say, tomorrow. And in the meantime, I'll get some background material, you know, addresses, work schedules, stuff like that. Where do we meet? <clears throat> you just have the money on you, Harry. I'll find you. But no harm to the children. I have to know that. Harry, that cost you 50 grand. You're sure about this? You got a better way to handle it? I just think maybe we should take it downtown. Well, I don't want to push a lot of paper out. I'm getting nowhere. I'll go get her. I want to nail this wacko. I'll get the coffee. Pearl. Hey, you looking for a coat? Not today. Oh, uh, Detective Jackson, this is my boss, Martin Cole. Let's go out in the mall. How are you? All right. You better bring your things with you. Is there a problem? Uh, don't expect it back today. Nice. Coffee? I don't drink coffee. I think you should drink this. No. I'm a big girl, and we have it. I expected things to get more difficult. How difficult? You're not talking about Benji and Jennifer. No, 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 no they're all right. Harry wouldn't try to kidnap them, would he? No, we don't think so. Then what are we talking about? We're talking about murder. Who's murder? We wouldn't be here unless we were 100% sure of our information. What information? Harry's hired somebody to kill you. Oh, no. No, I don't believe that. Oh, come on. This is a mistake. Tell me this is a
Thank you, Susan. Do you have a first name? Earl, but even my mother calls me Jack. Can I get you a, uh, a soda, a cigarette, something? A new life, maybe. Oh, that'll come. Are you sure about this, Jack? Our informant is absolutely reliable, believe me. Why don't you arrest Harry or the man he hired? You can't go around paying other people to kill someone. With what we got now, Karen, Harry would walk. I don't understand. What does it take, my dead body? What are we talking about? We're talking about building a case that puts Harry away. Unless you want to live like this until the hell freezes over. How much did he pay? Half of a $10,000 contract. He loved someone all those years. Raised two beautiful children. I can't comprehend this, Jack. I really can't. I mean, it's like we're not even talking about Harry. Like something else climbed inside of him and took over his body and his soul. That's just about what happened. What are you planning to do? Well, we're working on several angles, but... Look, you know... There's an outside chance that, that he could change his mind. This whole thing could blow over. You can chalk it up to him just blowing a fuse. And if that isn't the case? We want you to go someplace your husband doesn't know about. It, it'll give us and it'll give him some time to think. We just moved here a month ago because of him. My kids are just... A I'm sorry. I... Look, I, I, I know it's a hardship. But people who pay for this sort of thing... They get very antsy waiting for a pro to do a job. He tries something himself. Is that what you're saying? You know better than I do. Look, we're not dealing with a stable person here. And what do I tell my children? Your father's gonna kill me, so we have to move? The best thing would be sending them out of town. There's no one out of town, Jack. I'm not gonna put them with strangers. I won't do that to them. Okay. Okay, but find a new place to live as soon as possible. I have to take care of some things at work first. You're a brave lady. We're counting on that. scissors again you all three beat me come on see you guys thanks you want to know something jack you're worrying too much oh, yeah how much is too much jackson and mckenzie report to the commander's office uh yeah we got it we're on our way red light request the hell with a red light we're slipping up somewhere you're just giving yourself a perfect example of worrying too much oh yeah the commander just wants to have us buy for coffee so he can talk about our sex life you wouldn't have too much to say. <laughs> Fact is, you wouldn't have anything to say.
be arrested for being in here. The destroyed husband with the bouquet of flowers? Your favorite. Just listen. I need you, babe. And I miss the kids more than anything in the world. Don't you just let me finish. I'll, I'll do anything. I'll, I'll even go back to selling houses. No more flying off the handle, I swear. And I, I'll never blame you for anything ever again. I want things to be the way they were. And I know they can be. It's too late, Harry. It's never too late. Second thoughts? Huh, Harry? Spit it out. It's not too late. Oh, I just want it to happen soon. I keep my own schedule. But it'll be soon. Why did she move again? How the hell should I know? Maybe it's because you ripped up her clothes. Harry, you see that house? Huh? You stay away from there. Or I'm calling it quits. You understand? Get it? Good, Harry. Very good. Got everything, Benjamin? What's to get? Half of my stuff is at the apartment. The other half of the house, really great. Benji, please, trust me, I know what I'm doing. He was gonna take us to the zoo for the weekend. It just isn't fair that we keep on moving around and I didn't get to see him. I know, honey. It'll work out, you'll see. Mom, can I talk to you? I'll show Benji the house. Hey, Benji, you like fish? Sure do. Uh, some fish? I used to have these. What's wrong? Why are you crying? Uh, I'm okay. Mom, not a little girl anymore. You can tell me what's going on. I understand. Hey, I won't even tell Benji if you don't want me to. Oh, Jenny. I can't. It's so complicated. I just want you to know I am doing what's best for all of us. No. You're not. You're not telling me the truth. Mom, I have the right to know. I'm not a little girl anymore. Oh, Jenny. You and Benji are the loves of my life. You just have to accept that. That Daddy can't be around us right now. Why, Mom? Why? Because he's a very sick man. Jenny, please don't ask any more questions. When the proper time comes, you'll know everything.
Okay, kiddos. Feed the fish, water the plants, and call it home for a month. Don't take my aunt that long to learn the hula. <laughs> Jen, your brother could use some help upstairs. Thanks, Mom. House of the Philodendron might have to. <laughs> it's gonna be okay. Those beasts are gonna take care of everything. Yeah, I'll be back tonight. so quiet. What's the matter? Why are you scared? Nothing's the matter, honey. I was scared, but I'm not going to be anymore. Hi. Hey, did you finish your homework? I don't have any homework. It's Friday. Friday. So it is. <laughs> Mom, where are you going? I've got to go out for a while. I'll be back soon. I've got to get some other things to wear. Are you going to our house? Yes. Will you get a thundercat for me? Oh, and my white bear. Yes, honey, I will. Mom, are you going to see Daddy? No, I won't. Now, why don't you two get ready for bed? Donna is in charge while I'm gone, so you listen to what she tells you. Yeah. Mom. I love you. Me too. I will check on you when I get back, okay? Okay. Put white bear on my pillow. I will. I love you. Maybe mommy will see daddy here and we'll be able to go home. I don't think so, Benji. Carol, He's not home. What makes you think you won't be when you get there? Because I'll try again from the payphone down the street. Are you out of your mind? No, I'm not, but he is, Donna. So forget about the clothes. I'm not going to get clothes. I'm going to get a gun. A gun? My God, Karen. Look, you want a gun. First thing tomorrow morning, I will get you a gun. I already checked. You have to wait two weeks to pick it up. I'm not waiting two weeks. Okay, please, you cannot take the chance of going over there. Please. No. 
I want a gun to protect myself. It's Harry's gun I want, because if he has to, he'll use it. Donna, thank you. We'll be in touch. Let's get out of here. See if there's a black and white in here. Have them check it out. Calling all units. Suspected trouble at 2934 Loring. Anyone in the vicinity, go on the property if required. Car 797, a block away. I got it. Roger, and thank you. We better go to her place.
have the black and white go by there again. Does she have a key? Well, that was a damn fool thing to do. He came. He was there. He was so close. He took his gun, Jack. He left with it. Oh, my God, he doesn't know where this house is. Karen, I, I look, I got to talk to you in private. You can say whatever you have to do in front of me. I'd rather talk alone. Come on, any other room? You have got to do something, Mackenzie, because she's going to have a breakdown. Miss Appleby, you know just about everything that's going on here, don't you? Yeah, I suppose I do. Look, if you're worried about someone finding this place, don't. Because my aunt has a different last name than I do. And no one at the store knows where she is except Mr. Cole. And he wouldn't breathe the word. And I am very careful when I come here not to be followed. I am sure that you are. Nevertheless, you could do us a very big favor if you take the children to your place. Why? I mean, Harry knows where I live. And probably so does the man he hired. Will you take them? When? Now. I think your friend is giving me it's a lot. My friend, your acquaintance, then. Things like this take time. I was hoping, hoping for what? I'll change your mind. You haven't heard a damn thing I've been telling you. Do you understand what torture this is? But well, he's not going to string me along anymore. You understand? I'm going to save myself five grand. What are you talking about, Harry? I'm not waiting any longer. Okay. <laughs> Crazy. 
I think they're taking too long. Let's you keep your voice down and get the hell out of here now. And this is it? This is it. Unless you want to forget about it. No. I don't want to forget about it. Then go home. You get the $5,000 ready for tomorrow. When it's over. What about my kids? You don't do it if my kids are in there. Your kids aren't there. The kids are gone. They're spending the night at a friend's. Oh, yeah? What? You have a guy in there? There's no one there. There's no guy there. There's no one. Just her. It's what I've been waiting for. You want to pull out, huh? Last chance, Harry. I want it done. Simmons, Mr. Cardell. I'm with the county coroner's office. Your wife is Karen Malloy Cardell? Yes. She was found dead, Mr. Cardell. I'm very sorry. Oh, no. Oh, no. It was a homicide, sir. Probably started as a breaking and entering. that uh, Miss Donna Appleby uh, found the body this morning. Oh, Donna, uh, yes, Donna. She's a best friend. God, this is awful. We'll need you to come down the morgue, sir, and identify your wife's body. It's so the coroner can release it to the mortuary. Mortuary? Yes, yes, of course. Please, I, I, need, I, I need some time. Of course, sir, we appreciate that. Uh, I'll wait for you outside. Thank you.
want to step outside, grab a breath of fresh air. remain silent. You have the right to have an attorney present during questioning. Now, if you can't afford one, Harry... What the hell are you talking about? We'll be glad to appoint one for you. Do you understand your rights, Mr. Cardell? You set me up. You set me up. You set me up. What I saw, didn't I? She's dead. She's dead. I didn't kill her. I didn't kill her! I didn't kill her! Boy, how about that, Albert, huh? It takes all kinds in this world. Hey, don't knock it. 
If Albert hadn't come to us, he'd be standing at a funeral right now.